Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? I hope that all is well. So, for those of you in New York City, you may have already heard the news that schools are closed. NYC schools are closed, okay? And I knew this was going to happen because this was one of the reasons why the mayor was hesitant to close the schools because he said if schools closed, they would be closed for the duration of the year and open back up in September. Now, school was supposed to be closed until April 20th. And then everything got pushed back to April 29th. Now, school is closed to September. So this does a lot of things, especially to like a parent like me. My children, I have um, one children in District 75 and I have another child in a CPS3, C, which is the equivalent to yeah. District 75. And they have school 12 months a year. So in the summertime, instead of going to camp, they go to um, school, which is good because it still allows me to work and do everything that I need to do. And then I have another child that usually goes to Connecticut. So I'm still able to work and do what I need to do. Now, them closing schools for the duration of the school year is going to mess a lot of people up. Because now, if they were in a position like me where it was District 75, they was able to go for the summertime. Um, even now for the rest of the school year, um, it, it can do things now. I don't know when I have to go back to work every day. You know, like right now I'm working remotely from home um, while they're doing their schoolwork remotely at home. But what if the jobs say, hey, now things are open back up. You have to come here every day now. What does that do for someone like me? Um, or what does it do for, because my husband is not home now. Like me being home now, it gave him the opportunity to kind of be able to go out and do things, which was, which is totally awesome. So now it's like, okay, now all of the dynamics change. Like, am I going to be able to hire somebody to come into my house while both me and him go to work? Is it even going to be worth it to pay somebody um, all of this money, you know, to watch the kids while we go to work, like it changes the dynamic for a lot of people. Yes, it does. So I really don't want, want to take this time to really sit here and say, hey, it's really time for you to explore your at-home options. But, I, but, but my hands are tied. Like it's time, okay? I have been preaching multiple sources of income for a long time because you need multiple sources of income. And it's horrible that something like this had to happen for people to finally wake uh, open their eyes. I've been telling people for a long time, hey, you know how to do this? You should start A. Hey, you know how to do this? You should start B. Or A, you're already doing this? This is how we can enhance. This is things that I've been preaching to people for a while. And I've always had multiple sources of income, okay? So yes, I've always had a job. And yes, I've I've been since 2008 putting my hands in different things. Now, have I always did what I needed to do in order to make the money that I was capable of doing? No, okay? I'm just gonna be straight up honest. I have not really focused. Now, when I first um, got started doing one of my work at home opportunities, even, even though I had another job, I did really good because I was focused. I did really good. And this is before um, social media was popping like that or people was really promoting their businesses on social media. I was doing the footwork and I did really good. And then I slowed down because of the children, no support, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. Um, th through the years, I've been doing things. So for most of you know, I teach jump rope classes. I'm an affiliate for a lot of things. Like my, my thing is, if I'm going to promote um, items and products online, guess what? I'm going to get paid. So if I have a link for this watch, guess what? I'm going to give it to you. If I have a link for this watch, guess what? I'm going to give it to you. If I have a link for these glasses, guess what? I'm going to give it to you. If I have a link for this water bottle, guess what? I'm going to give it to you. If I have a link for this speaker, guess what? I am going to, I'm going to get paid for it. A lot of, and let me tell you something about affiliates. Yes, I'm going off a tangent. A lot of people are promoting things for free every day. So for example, you start, you wear a new lipstick as a female. Say you wear a new lipstick, right? Or say this lip gloss, for example, right? This is my lip gloss. Now say somebody's like, somebody's like, oh, your lip gloss is popping. Where you get that from? And I'm like, oh, Victoria's Secret. 
But is Victoria's Secret even giving me a dollar? Because guess what? You're, guess what? Guess what? My friend is gonna do. My friend now is gonna go to Victoria's Secret and they're gonna buy that lip gloss. Am I gonna get credit for it? No. This is how you're promoting things for free. Now, example, here is my hand sanitizer, Clear Defense, and this is all natural, 97% plant-based ingredients, right? I order this and it gets shipped to my house. Now, do I get paid to promote this? Yes, I do. So yes, I am gonna promote this because guess what? When I promote this and when my friends go and say, hey, I'm gonna buy that too, I get paid, okay? Stop promoting stuff for free. Like I said, this is my lip gloss. Victoria's Secret is my favorite lip gloss, right? But I don't go around all the time saying, hey, y'all, check out my lip gloss. I got it from Victoria's Secret because guess what? I'm not getting paid by Victoria's Secret to promote their lip gloss. Now, there is another company, same company that, that I get this from, that sells lip gloss. Now, if I want, I will promote their lip gloss because guess what? I will get paid to wear it. So, I've been telling y'all this for years. Every Almost everything that I promote, that I purposely promote, I get paid for it. I'm just saying. Um, this shake that I drink, guess what? I get paid for it. Um, these ropes, these are actually my products. So, you know, like, I'm going to get paid. You see these ropes right here that I use, these weighted ropes? Guess what? When I get people to link, yes. Yes. When people purchase these ropes, right, I get paid for it. So, the whole point of the matter is get paid for it. For example... Let me see who I got on here. Okay, Precious. That's Precious. Precious is my hairstylist. Well, she didn't do this, but she maintained my locks for like a very long time. She's a hairstylist. People are not coming into the salon right now. So basically, what you could do, Precious, you could do online courses on how to do this style, how to do that style, how to maintain this, how to maintain that. If you have favorite products that you're using, contact the people. Hey, do y'all have affiliates? Are you, um, can I, you know, you could get paid to promote some of the favorite products that you use or get an account on Amazon and do video so do video tutorials of you doing a certain style and in the bottom and the caption of your video put um this this is the mousse that i like this is the shampoo that i like this is the grease that i like boom you have a link on amazon and guess what when the people that's watching your video when they see that and they purchase guess what you're going to get paid it may not be a lot of money but guess what yes bridget it may not be a lot of money that you get but guess what you're getting paid for promoting something that's my point so um you have an affiliate and that's easy for anybody to do like almost every store almost everything that's online um you actually can get paid for it like i said i like i said i get paid for promoting a lot of items online because at the end of the day we all promote things for free okay people get on for example and they be like oh look at my dress this dress is dope and then your girl be like yo where you get that dress from and you be like oh i got it from um I got it from New York and Co. And then your friend go right to New York and Co. Grab that same dress. Did New York and Co. pay your friend? I mean, to pay you for telling your friend to go to New York? No, they didn't. Okay? So, so it, it's really time to be creative now because the world has changed. Like I said, when this um, thing is over, the world is not going to go back to be the same. And it's just really horrible what what's going to happen like a lot of parents now are going to have to choose between staying at home they, like a lot of parents now have no choice now even if their job said you could come back they can't go back because guess what their kids are at home who is going to watch their kids like this is just the whole reality so like i said i really didn't want to have to come here and now say you need to look into doing something different i, I didn't want to come have to do it because I don't want to scare anybody to think, oh, I should have to do this now. Oh, I should have to do that. Or, oh, I don't want, I didn't want it to look like, oh, I'm just trying to build my team. But guess what? You need to do something else. Like, it, you have to. You have to. You can make money online. I'm sorry. I've been doing it. And... The thing about me is, like I said, I've been in this space for a long time. I've invested in a lot of coaching. I've invested in a lot of courses. And the thing about me, I'll be truthful. I, did, I haven't really pushed myself because it's always about depending on that check. But let me tell you something. In, in 2017, I took on a second job, even though I already had other sources of income. But let me tell you the reason why some people think like at home opportunities are a scam or why they don't want to do it. Because number one, you have to work. When you go to your job, right? 
you go to your job, say you have a full-time job, 40 hours. You have to go to work, work 40 hours, and then at the end of, that's right, and at the end of two weeks, you get a check, right? Now, say for instance, you are getting $15 an hour, right? You're getting $15 an hour, you have to work for 40 hours or 80 hours to get a check at the end of the two weeks. Then you do taxes. Let me tell you something. My jump rope classes, right, are $22.50, right? Now, say I was getting $15 an hour. I can't even do the math. What's 15 times 7? Um, 15, 30, 40. It's over $100. 15 times 7 is like a little bit over $100, right? Yeah. No, give me the, give me the, give me the calculation. About $135. $135. John, I'm passionate. <laughs> okay, so if, no, 15 times 7 is 135 About. About. Okay, so for example, I if I had a job that was $15 an hour, right, I would have to spend eight hours of my life there, right? It's really technically seven, but you get the lunch break. Mm -hmm. I would have to technically give eight hours of my life plus the hour to get there and the hour to go home. So now I done gave 10 hours of my life for $135. Let me explain that again. All right. Say I get. It's $105. Yeah. Thank you so much for the corrected math. Thank you so much, John. Yeah. My other kid just corrected me. Okay. So, you go to a job, right? Shh. All right, thank you so much, Yaren. Okay, so you go to a job, right? I gotta go. I gotta go through this again because I don't think somebody heard me. I gotta go through this again. Say you're getting fifteen dollars an hour, right? You have to go to the job for eight hours. Of course, you get one hour for lunch, but you gotta go for eight hours. You gotta give yourself an hour to get there, and this is just minimum. And then you have to give yourself an hour to go home. That's already 10 hours of your day only to get $105 for the day. Does that make sense? Let's think about it. Let's think just one, just one more time. I can just say it one more time for the people in the back that don't hear me. This is all minimum. You get $15 an hour. You got to go to a job for eight hours. You got to travel there. That's one hour. Now that's nine hours. You got to travel back home. That's another hour. In total, it's 10 hours that you're giving of your day to only get $105. Does that make sense? Do you hear me? Shout. Yes. I don't care if I'm shaking the car. Okay. So, I teach jump rope classes. My jump rope classes are $22.50. It takes me an hour to teach the class. It takes me an hour to get to the class. It takes me an hour to get home. That's three hours of my day. If I have 10 people in my class and the math is going to be wrong because I'm just going to say 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 dollars for three hours of my life doing my teaching my jump rope class in which I would have had to stay at a job for eight hours plus give an hour to travel and back 10 hours of my life only for 105 dollars what makes more sense yeah um yeah what makes more sense and like i said back in 2017 i took on another full-time job why did i exactly yes before taxes you ain't even getting 105 dollars <laughs> on the roll so let me go back 2017 i was struggling the struggle was real i decided to get another full-time job knowing 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 that i had the skills to pay the bills knowing that i had the skills to pay the bills but i still chose to get a second part-time job now i got sick because I was working Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Then I was working Saturday through Tuesday, 12 to 8. So literally Friday, 9 to 5, I would go to work. I would come home. Nobody's going to sleep at no 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Nobody's going to sleep at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So then I'm up. I finally go to bed at 9 o'clock just to wake up like an hour and a half later to go. And uh, <laughs> yo, I'm done, John. <laughs> so, um, so... Man, I done got cut off. What, what was I saying, y'all? Uh, um, Nosy, come on. What was I saying? Uh, I don't know. 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 Uh, I
You said something about like, you getting sick for your job, like. Yeah. So I was working that. I was working that um that second job. I got sick because actually, okay, Friday, yes, Friday, I would go to work nine to five. I would come home by by like. Nobody's going to sleep at 6 o'clock because I got kids. I can't just come home at 6 o'clock and then go to sleep. I have to come home. Yes, see, John? Yes. So, <laughs> so I have to come home. I don't go to sleep till like 9 o'clock. I would have to wake up an hour and a half later just to get ready for work and then go to work. And then I have to come home Saturday morning, work 12 a.m. to 8 a.m., come home Saturday morning. I cannot go to sleep because guess what? I got kids. I got things to do. Um, so then I stay up all day and maybe I try to get an hour or two nap in, stay up all day, go to bed again at nine o'clock at night, just to get up an hour and a half later, just to go to work from 12 to eight, do that Sunday. Yo, it's, but it was bananas. Like when I was working those two jobs, I got high blood pressure. I became a pre-diabetic. I was not eating right. I gained over 50 pounds. Um, no, I gained, yeah, I gained about 50 pounds because I wasn't eating right. I wasn't working out. I wasn't sleeping. I was stressed. And this is why I, the high blood pressure came. I went through three pregnancies, never had an issue with high blood pressure. I had, I was pre-diabetic. It was, the, the, it was crazy. And finally in 2018, I had to say, look, it's either going to be, um, my health or, or, or the money, like something got to give. And I was like, I'm not dying now because I need to do all this. And then that's when I had to say, yo, yo, burn. Like you have skills to pay the bills, apply yourself, do the things you got to do and make your money. Because mathematically, I knew this all the time. But like I said, when you work a job, you're so reliant on at the end of those two weeks getting that check that you don't want to put in the work. And let me tell you something. The reason why a lot of people don't believe at, in these work at home opportunities or they think everything is such a scam is because you have to work. Let me tell you something at your job, at your nine to five job, right? You have to work. If you don't put in the work, guess what's going to happen? You're either going to get written up or you're going to get fired. If you don't do the, um, if you don't do your work at work, you're either gonna, you're either going to get written up or you're going to get fired, okay? So you have two choices and you're still not gonna get paid, right? So the only difference when you're working for yourself is that you have to have that discipline. You are your own boss. You're gonna have to say, okay, you got to call these people. You gotta email these people. You have to talk to these people. You have to, I don't know, whatever you have to do to build and grow your business are the things that you have to do, okay? So like you have to really now start to dig deep. There are a lot of different opportunities, right? Yes, Ashni. Now, and let me tell y'all something. Ashni and Fuko right here. Let me just highlight because I've been talking to y'all. Ashni and Fuko, she is one of my um, she is one of my coaches. And I've known her, I don't even know how long I've known her now. I've known her for several years. Her specialty is social media marketing, but her audience is online, is, is dance teachers. She's a dancer. She, um, she's done a lot of, um, like broadcasting, not broadcasting, but she does like a lot of interviews. She's done newscasts. She does a lot of everything, but her primary thing is, um, social media marketing for the dance community. And she's been preaching uh, for a long time. Dancers find other ways to monetize your skill and knowledge than, um, just relying on going to the dance studio. She's been preaching this. She's been preaching this for a long time. And now it's like now her message is relevant more now than ever because now it happened. People can't go to the dance studio and teach anymore. They can't. So what do they got to do? Um, they have to um, <laughs> teach online classes or they have to design courses. Or they have to refer maybe different clothes that they wear when they dance. It's just so many things to come out of it. But now the message is relevant. Um, where I got Justin Brown. Justin Brown, he's been one of my coaches for several years. He teaches people, um, people that's in fitness, he teaches them how to monetize their skill through online courses, programs, challenges, things like that. You know, um, promoting your personal brand. This is what he does. Um... 
Um, let me see who else we got on here. Those, um, Adrian Benghady. This is one of my great, great friends, and we collaborate a lot. She jumps rope. She's in Hungary. Um, she sells jump rope. She teaches courses. She has instructors. She um, performs. And I'm sure now she's not performing anymore, but hey, guess what? She already had online courses set up. She already had online classes set up. She already sells jump ropes. Now, um, talking about myself. <laughs> yes. Y'all know I got to talk about myself. Now, I teach jump rope classes. I sell jump ropes. I am an affiliate for different like, I'm an affiliate for these ropes. I'm an affiliate for this hand sanitizer you see here. I'm an affiliate for um, this shake I drunk. I, um, this is my jump, my jump rope that I sell. Let me tell y'all something. It's, I even taught online jump rope classes this morning. You understand? Like, you have to find your way because now that these schools are closed, I don't know what's going to happen. And yes, John, um, he was saying in the comments, yes, people don't want to do the work because I, yes, because working for yourself is a lot of work. Y'all don't even understand like how every day I have to, I'll be going to bed at two, three o'clock in the morning because I have to work. And because I'm a solopreneur, I have to do everything for myself and I don't know how to do everything. You got to do marketing. It's just so social media is a job in itself. Like people see me online all the time. Why am I all the time? All the time? Because this is how I advertise my business. Let me tell you something. Um, every, all of my, um, that's right. Monetize everything. Let me tell you something. All of my customers, all of my students, guess where they came from? Online. If I go through the roster of all my uh, Jump to Burn students, they have come from online. These people were not my friends and my family. These people were people that see me on Instagram, people that see me on Facebook, people that see me on YouTube, people that see me on uh, Periscope, people that see me all over the net. Okay? People that see me all over the net. These are the people that's come to my jump rope classes. And it's crazy. It's bananas. But it's a job. You got to put in the work. Um, I, I get online and I, I educate people about jump rope. Or I educate people about living healthy. I educate people about the benefits of jump rope. I educate people on how you could get such a quick workout in such a little bit of time. This is what I do. And as a, and as a result, I get paid to teach people. Or I get paid to provide certain courses. Or I get paid to provide people the tools that they need in order to do this effective exercise. Like people, you got to be smart. You got to think. You got it's, it's time to work. And, and like I said... If it's all, if it's all too hard for you, if it's all because it's hard, yes, you got to put in work. If it's all too hard for you, hire somebody, invest in yourself, invest in yourself, invest in yourself, invest in yourself. Okay. Invest in yourself. Because like I said, I've invested. <laughs> I didn't want to tell y'all how much money I've invested in myself, you know, to learn. And yes, you know, I need to go back and rewatch some of the things and implement because it's not all about just, um, uh, it's not all about just purchasing these things. It's about actually going through it and implementing what they're telling you. So like I said, um, before all of this happened, right, before Corona even happened, uh, I think uh, a couple of months ago, um, I came across a new product that I'm selling right now or that I'm helping people with right now. And sometimes, too, you got to look at the leadership and these different things that you're doing. Um it, it shifted my mindset. It really shifted my mindset. And I started now to put in more work. And now I'm really tracking these expenses that I'm making. And I'm just like, okay, 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 okay. And let me tell you something. The month of March, the month of March, I made more money in the month of March than I did in January and February. How did I make more money when the economy is going down? That I did when the economy was considered normal. How? 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 This is the time. This is your time. Find something to do. You know, if you don't want to join my team, like I said, I I, I, I have my hands in several things. Um, so I, I have health and wellness products. You know, like I said, I have... Yeah, I have health and wellness products and I have a team. So I help people uh, make money in their team. Um, 
I also have courses. I have drum. I do all a bunch of stuff. But if you want to join my team, and I can show you already, that's already a product that's there, and how you can make money, then we can do that. You know, you can join my team. I'll personally mentor you, and we can make this money together. If you don't want to do that, say if you're already in MLM, because I've already seen people in and on this live that's already in MLM, and um, I think somebody tried to pitch me <laughs> on my live MLM. Now, if you are looking for prospects and if you are looking for customers, I also have a link um, to um, a site where I get a lot of marketing information from. And you could be an affiliate of that as well. And I can give you my information as well. Um, and you can make money. Like, let me tell you something. There is money all around us. There is money all around. You just have to really be willing to um, put in the work. And let me tell you something. It looks like I'm all over. It looks like I'm all over the place now. It really looks like I'm all, I'm all over the place. But but I have multiple interests. Let me tell you my interests. Jump rope. I love jump rope, and I do jump rope more and more because that's already something that's set up and something that I'm already monetizing off of. I'm an autism mom. I'm an autism mom coach. I help moms of newly diagnosed autism children. Um, manage their feelings of anger, guilt, grief, and shame, denial, so that they can give their child the best help that they need. Now, I haven't been promoting that as much lately, but guess what? It's still a passion of mine, and I'm going to talk about it until I decide what I'm going to do with myself. Because um, you have to be willing to put yourself out there, and you have to be willing to fail until you succeed. That's the only way you're going to succeed. You have to fail to success, okay? Um, so I have that. I have the health and wellness, and check. I have, I'm an autism mom, check. Um, social media. I'm, I really don't want to become this whole social media marketing guru, but there's a lot of things that I know. You know, I, like I said, I've invested way too much money in myself to not put it to you. So um, if you have been following me, I did two videos already. It's going to be a series of probably like five or six videos, but... I'm going to teach, and I maybe I have to cater this to busy working moms, but I'm going to teach people, or I am teaching people, how to repurpose their Facebook Live video. I've already done two videos. The first, and this is I'm, this is not really anything I'm doing to make money, but hey, I may take all of these videos and turn it into a course. So if you've been, watch, if you've been watching my videos, watch them, take notes, do what you got to do, because guess what? That may just, just may very well be a course, because I gave y'all a lot of information. Thank you so much, Ashley. I gave y'all, so the first video is um how to do a facebook live video for the purposes of um repurposing the video that was the first video i did that two days ago just go to my timeline boom you can see it if you don't feel like go to my timeline go to my youtube channel you don't feel like go to my youtube channel go to my instagram igtv i don't play um so that's the first video how to do a facebook live video for the purpose of repurposing and then the video that i streamed last night was um two things that you can do with this video so if you need help with even how to use videos on promoting your products i'm teaching you a couple of ways to repurpose your facebook live video because guess what i'm a busy working mom i don't have time to be setting up all day to be doing videos all day and doing this and that and that, that 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 there i just repurpose my stuff you know what i'm saying you can get it done so anyway I'm going to get off my horse right. I'm going to get off this thing. I, I'm tired. I got I got to go. That's right. Free 99. I'm just telling y'all. I'm, I'm I'm, I've been giving y'all the jumps for years, you know, but it just hasn't been in an organized way. So, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it together. Ashani, you know, I just purchased one of her courses. Um, so I got to get I got to get back into that course and I'm going to uh, learn how to take <laughs> everything that I'm doing and uh, <laughs> get my life together y'all because like, like i said i be all over the place i have multiple interests i'm just you know I, but but i'm gonna make it so anyway i hope you all are remaining safe i hope that you all are well um and like i said they don't close schools for the end of to the end of the year and i know that this can mean um this could this could be devastating to many households including mine you know um like I, right now i'm working remotely from home so it's just like okay what am i gonna do now that school is closed and what if now i have to actually go in because they only have us coming in every three weeks now now it's like what if in may they say oh you have to come back to work you know but then my kids are home like because they're not in school so I understand the stresses that this can bring to people. What I will do is if you were inspired by this live, um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not doing this to um, pitch you to join my team or pitch you to do anything, but I do want you to now think 
and look at things another way because once this pandemic is over things are not going back to normal they're not they're not going back to normal nowhere near normal matter of fact after this pandemic is over um I don't know who closed the school, but I already knew they was going to close. Once this pandemic is over, it's going to take a, several months for everything to go back to normal. It's going to take several months for the economy to recover. It's going to take a while. No, I got the text message on my phone that they said the schools were closed. Like, I followed, I followed the things, okay? I, I haven't watched the news, but I did get the text message that they said the schools were closed. And I already knew they were going to do it for the end of the year because before he closed the school, he didn't want to close the school because he figured it was going to happen for the rest of the year. So, it's no surprise to me. Um... But any in any event, um, like I said, this is going to have some drastic effects for people. Um, it's going to have a drastic effects for parents, especially if you are working remotely, and um, if you're working remotely and you have to um, you have to decide whether you're going to decide to go back to work or you're going to just have to stay home because there's nobody to watch your kids while you have to go to work. So yes. So everybody, you see Ashley, she's about to do a live on that very topic. And I know her her live is going to be very much more organized than mine <laughs> because this was random. But definitely um, check out Ashni and Fuko. Check out her live video. She's going to give it to y'all in a very organized way. Like I said, if you need, if you want to talk to me, if you're, if you're inspired by this and you want to talk to me about maybe how you can take what you're doing and I can give you some ideas on how to monetize, just, um... Send me a message and we can make an arrangement to talk. I'm not going to do a bunch of typing because I, I just can't do it. I'd rather just get on the phone with you and we can get this on and popping. Um, or if you want to join my team, we can we can explore that option as well. Or if you already have a business and you want to know the website that I use to market or to... Um, get my marketing information from you can do that as well right now matter of fact we're in the midst of a five-day challenge we're on day three and they're giving gems and jewels okay to uh invite more people to your product or your opportunity this is great for coaches and this is great for people in mlm so thank y'all so much for t watching me i'm gonna go ahead and watch ashney um and fuka i love her and like i said because her thing is gonna be a little bit more organized than mine you know y'all know me i'm just random but i know i, I dropped some jewels in here so uh <laughs> Thank y'all so much. John, thanks so much for engaging and I'll talk to y'all later.